Bangalore, also known as the Silicon Valley of India, has undergone tremendous growth in the past few decades. With the rise of technology companies and startups in the city, there has been a surge in the demand for quality infrastructure and transportation facilities. One of the most significant developments in the city's transportation infrastructure has been the introduction of metro train connectivity. Today, in this video, we are going to look at the impact of metro expansion on the property values in Namma Bengaluru. My name is Balaj Badrinath and I welcome you to our channel. If you are new here, please click the subscribe now button and tap the bell icon so that we can notify you whenever we post such useful videos on various real estate topics covering Namma Bengaluru. Now, without further ado, let's dive in. The Bengaluru Metro Rail Corporation Limited has been making steady progress in expanding the metro network in the city and this has had a significant impact on the real estate market. For instance, during the construction phase of Bengaluru Metro Phase 1, Flats available for sale along the metro corridors saw a price appreciation of 22 to 30 percent. Furthermore, after the construction of phase one was completed, the price appreciation further escalated between 6 percent and 10 percent for residential projects, both built and under construction, located along the metro corridors. With the launch of new projects in the metro connected areas of Bangalore, property prices are set to experience a huge increase. As Metro Phase 2 continues to progress, the real estate projects close to it are progressing towards their completion. Once the Metro service becomes operational after Phase 2, the real estate market will experience more demand for properties that are located in the Metro connected areas. This will lead to a boom in the prices of both commercial and residential properties here. We have collected a comprehensive reports on prices area-wise due to the metro expansion. And if you would like to look at them, please feel free to download. It's free for you to download and you can find the link pasted on the description. It's in the PDF format and it has got a lovely graphical visualization charts. Uh, and we have gone in depth uh, when it comes to electronic city in Elanka. So, so I'm sure you will love it. So please uh, feel free to go and download. Uh, and the link is there in the description. Further continuing with this uh, uh, topic, in line with the comprehensive mobility plan, the DPR of phase three of Bengaluru Metro Rail project for a length of 44.65 kilometer consists of two corridors. Corridor one from JP Nagar fourth phase to Kempapura along the ORR um, West for a length of 32.15 km with 22 stations. Corridor 2 is from Hosahalli to Kadabagare on Magadi Road for a length of 12.5 km with 9 stations. It is scheduled to start in 2025 and continue into mid-2030s. The upcoming Bengaluru Metro Phase 4 is poised to have a significant impact on the city's uh, real estate landscape. The expansion into areas such as Birdi, Harohali, Atibile and uh, Kunigal Cross is expected to create new opportunities for real estate development. Investors and developers are showing interest in these emerging zones, anticipating a surge in demand for properties because of improved connectivity provided by the metro. The cautious exploration of opportunities reflects the potential for growth in these areas, driven by the expansion of the metro network. With the upcoming Bengaluru Metro Phase 4, property rates in surrounding areas will gently rise. I have an interesting chart to show. Uh, here in this visual, uh, you can see that almost 70% of the people in Bangalore are interested to stay near the metro connected area. This leads to demand in the real estate market for those areas for residential and as well as commercial market. And another visual is here. This visual shows the interest of tenants based on the areas. We can see that the most of the tenants, nearly 50%, opt for metro connected areas while choosing a commercial premises. So here is my conclusion. The Bengaluru metro and its stations, either functioning or upcoming, have a positive impact on the real estate values. Residential projects within 500 meters proximity to the Bengaluru metro route are expected to appreciate by at least 20%. The appreciation will likely go up even further with the completion of pending phases. The proposed metro line to Kempagoda International Airport is poised to be a game changer. Soon, one can anticipate people commuting daily 40 to 50 km up and down or across the city for work as long as they reach their destination within an hour or less. This shift in perception will bring new career opportunities and employment across different parts of the city, attracting more people and further appreciating the value of Bangalore's precious real estate to new heights. Hope you got some useful information on this topic today. If you would like to know more about upcoming infrastructure upgrades uh, the city is getting, please watch it here along. And soon I'm going to see you in another interesting topic 